I was the first girl in Duluth to play organized hockey in 1951. And I'm still playing now at 78. Sometimes I'm up against kids that could be my granddaughter. <laughs> I lived across the street from Congdon Park. I generally just played with the boys. My parents didn't want me to play, so I got myself a paper route, so I had my own money to buy my equipment. I still have my original Bantam jersey. I was a girl, and I had to be the best to prove that I belonged on the team. The East High School coach at that time, he approached me one day after school and said, Bonnie, I've followed you at Congdon, and I would really like you to come and try out for our hockey team. And so the next day I came all excited, and he took me aside and he said, our principal said there will be no girls playing on a hockey team here at East. My hockey career was really over until age 40. Well, here, here's a good one. UMD was starting a club team, and anyone that had played hockey or would like to play hockey could. And so I called and said, well, I'm 40 years old. I did go to UMD, and uh, if you'd like me to try it and play with you, I will. And so the, the team at UMD was an all-women's club team, and we played against the men's club teams. And uh, so that was my first experience ever playing with all women. I did well. I was one of the leading scorers on that team for years, uh, so I guess I fit in okay. We were the first organized, if you call it that, Lady Bulldogs. And then uh, WAM, or the Women's Hockey Association of Minnesota, started, and we realized we could play in a women's league. So we joined that. And of course now, I am 44 because that's the year I was born. Because it was taken away from me and now I have the opportunity, I don't want to ever let that go. You know, sometimes I just can't believe I'm doing it. And uh, the thrill, I, just, I have a thrill every time I go on the ice. It's like, just a wonderful experience. It gives me energy, it gives me joy. If I have a heart attack, I want it there. <laughs> Not for everybody else's sake, but unless there's some health reason that I can't play, I'll play till I can't. It's just in my blood. So if I can be an inspiration, a role model, that's what I'd like to be.